Well, I guess they still do make good movies. Greetings and welcome to Roman of the Empire. I am your host, Roman, and I am very excited to be doing this review. We're going to be talking about, spoiler free of course, The Northmen, uh, starring uh, Alexander Skarsgård, Nicole Kidman, uh, Ethan Hawke, and a kind of a gaggle of other folk. Um, Directed by Robert Eggers, who did The Lighthouse, which a lot of you have seen. It's kind of it's bizarre. Uh, the Witch, and he's also planning on making a Nosferatu remake. Could be good, could be weird, but he's a good director, so we'll see where this goes. Um, Eggers also was writing, uh, produced along with Skarsgård and a handful of other people. And the score, and the score is important because we're going to talk about that, um, from Sebastian Gainsborough and Robin Carolyn. And cinematography, and I'm going to butcher this name, and I'm sorry about that. Uh, Yaren Blaschke, B-L-A-S-C-H-K-E. Your guess is probably better than mine, but even though I can't pronounce his name, he's an incredibly talented cinematographer. We're not going to get into the, really the plot elements of The Northman, but what I want to say is go see the movie! Uh, we don't get good movies anymore, and this is a good movie. Um, I get people uh, have reference back to films like Gladiator, um, even Conan, The Barbarian, the first one, the, the better one. And you, you can see some elements of those in this, but this is a Viking story. Um, Norsemen doing Norsemen stuff. The, the big themes of this movie are betrayal, revenge, and redemption. And they, they don't go light on these themes. So the, the film is based on the 13th century tale, The Life of uh, Almoth, uh, which if you've read Hamlet, then uh, Amleth isn't an altogether unfamiliar story to you. So uh, this, is, this is that story. So like I said, if you've seen the play or read the play Hamlet, then you know what a lot of these elements are. They're different, obviously, but the, the baseline stuff is still there. But what I want to talk about with this film, uh, the performances were, were great. Alexander Skarsgård is just freaking impressive. And I don't know if Nicole Kidman has been better. She, uh, she's not in it a lot, but when she's there, she is just, she is just brilliant. Um, Klaus Bang, um, Fjord the Brotherless, um, the brother of the king, uh, let's see, Avondil Warraven, that is Amleth's father. So, again, if you've seen Hamlet, you know what a lot of these elements are and who the players are in the mix. Um, you, you, you even get um, William Defoe for that long. He plays a fool, fool wise man, basically. But the performances are, are just stellar. They're so good. Uh, you really get to care about these characters. Uh, Olga, uh, who is... To call her a love interest is, is doing her disservice. She is also the love service. But you want to talk about a strong female character. She is spectacular. Uh, she, you'll, you'll, you'll meet her in the, the film in the land of Rus. Uh, she is played by uh, Anya Taylor-Joy, who I, I wasn't entirely familiar with. But she's, she is fantastic. Everybody does a good job with their part. So the acting is... Great. The action scenes. The, the, again, the, the, the way the film looks, let's, let's talk about just the, the scope of the film. It feels big. Uh, the way the scenes are shot give you an immenseness of where you are. The, 
There's one scene in particular, uh, and I won't go into too much detail, there are travelers, we shall call them, and they are in Iceland. And they are on the bottom of the screen, and the sky is so big, and it's just a beautiful shot, but all of the shots, from opening to, to end, are beautiful shots. Just for the eye candy alone uh, of these, these amazing views and the world that they've created for you is, is worth the price of admission. The score. The score, uh, it's riveting. It, it pounds into your bones. And when you see the movie, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it, the war drums are spectacular. And you feel you feel the emotion that that music is meant to bring out of you, and it does a good job with that. And the sound of the movie, the sound itself is amazing. You hear every bone crunch, clash of the swords, the skies, the volcanoes. Every bit of it is right there, and you feel every bit of those sounds. Uh, they go right through you. And that's, that's what good sound is in a movie. And they, they've captured all these elements. And they have made, in, in this year of 2022, an amazing picture. And again, we just don't get those very often. Uh, I, I don't want to blow any of this stuff for you, so I'm going to leave it to you to go see the movie. But you have to go see the movie. Do it in the theaters. Um, I myself am not a big theater person. I don't prefer the company of other humans. But I made the I made a point of going to this. Chris Gore um, had talked about it, and uh, my friend um, Max von Priestley is on his channel MVP. He he did an, a review of it as well, um, and it made me want to go see the film. And I'm so glad. That I did. Um, I'm supposed to be in a discussion on Sunday um, over at a Troubled Greens channel, and we're going to be discussing the Northman, and that should be, uh, I believe, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard, which is where I am. Uh, so if you want to tune in for that, please do. But we're going to end it with this. The Northman is a great movie in a time when mediocre movies are considered to be pretty good. This is an epic. This is something we haven't seen in a very long time, and I'm really glad that it exists. So, for now, this has been Roman of the Empire. Please like and subscribe. Signing off, be kind.